Will you teach me how to hack? The answer is yes, ethically and legally. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Step 1. Understand what kind of hacking you're interested in. Whether it's network hacking or websites, or maybe you want to ethically and legally hack into mobile phones. It could also be Wi-Fi, IoT, or more specialized like ICS, industrial control systems, so think SCADA. Or perhaps you're more interested in physical security and lockpicking. It could even be AI hacking. The list goes on and on. Step 2. This is where you face your first challenge. Because if I were you, I'd be thinking, how am I supposed to pick something when I don't even know where to start? Exactly. Before you can jump into hacking, you need to learn the basics. Here's a complete roadmap, absolutely free, and it includes a schedule as well. So make sure you have the basics covered. I'll provide the link in the description. Step three, once you're comfortable with the basics and are on the road to becoming an ethical hacker, you have a decision to make. And that is, is this something for you? Because many people think of hacking as cool scenes where a hacker is in a room doing some amazing stuff on multiple screens and trying to hack into, that's right, the mainframe. Which, let's admit, looks pretty cool, but is not the reality. The reality is, it's a lot of research and hard work. So primarily, a lot of technical work is involved. Coding, scripting, researching, exploit development, so on and so forth. And that's why this is the point where you really figure out if this is for you or not. Step four, decide your specialization, whether that be web or network or mobile, among many others really, but most importantly, be ethical and stay legal.